Hi, welcome to another exciting unboxing. Just like we had the pick and place machine the other day, I've got a carving slash milling machine, whatever you want to call it. This is the X-Carve from Inventables. So thank you very much, Michael from Inventables for uh, sending this one through. He let me uh, configure it. The thing with this, it's an open source million routing uh machine you know xy bed as we'll see well take a look here i'll edit in a, a photo of what it looks like and you can configure it in two different sizes i got the uh smaller size unit so that it actually fits on my bench here the big size unit wouldn't actually fit on my bench it's like a meter by a meter or something it's crazy so i've got the smaller one you can configure it in the um shopping cart and add all the bits you uh want and um, this one was about a thousand US dollars fully configured, I believe, with the more powerful motors and all sorts of whiz bang extras. So there you go. I'll provide the link down below. So thank you very much, Michael. And uh, of course, you can use this to carve or mill anything, pretty much, including PCBs. And that's probably one of the big things we're interested here on the EEV blog. This is. Hopeless. I should have got the Dundee knife out. Jeez. Anyway, so at the packing list, we have a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, I got, <laughs> I configured everything, so it all comes in a box. Hi, my name is Zach Kaplan. G'day, Zach, and I'm the founder of Inventables. Welcome to the community. We're really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited too. Looks like a Bobby Dazzler. Let's go. Oh, tons of stuff in here. Let me show you. Mm. Oh, it's all very exciting. Look at all these goodies in here. And uh, weighs about 39 pounds. What's that in kilos? Divide by 2.2. Uh, There's our uh, chain for our, ca our cables or, you know, cable snake, whatever you want to call it. Goes under many different names. Oh, I didn't actually open this. We have a material bundle by the way look at this packed at oh there we go packed at inventables in chicago beauty I've never been to chicago why do all my viewers in chicago so i i presume that these are like test materials or something like that now um michael has sent me a photo of um a a test board that he did like a test up piece of milled out a copper clad uh, PCB and he could get down to like uh, 0402 parts and uh, you know standard pitch uh, QFP packages and things like that reasonably easy so um, that's not bad that's like some sort of black foamy thing I'm not sure what that is and that looks like some acrylic yep and uh, some wood so it can carve you know pretty much anything depending on the tip that you actually put into this thing now here's the motion controller it's oh geez yeah okay it is arduino controlled it is all open source so you can go to uh, inventables.com and uh, check that out and you can order like all this stuff separately here's the nema 23 stepper motors and whoa they look beefy whoa check those out Bobby Dazzler. Wow. Smart automation. There you go. For those playing along at home, there's the part number. And yes, we can do the old trick of wiring our stepper motors together and woohoo! Yeah. And I must say, this is all in uh, pre release at the moment. This is one of the early um, units shipped if you uh, pre ordered. So there we go. We've got our hookup wire for our uh, limit switches. What else we got? We got our uh, threaded inserts. Look at that. Very nice. End mill um, starter kit. Nice. There we go. There's our, uh, there's our milling bits. Very nice. So these are your different types. I'm no expert on uh, milling machines and things like that, but oh, that one looks really groovy. Can't Probably can't move it too quick because then you... Uh, uh, snap the things off but I'm you know these are all these would all be uh, standard um, sizes and things you could buy them anywhere for any different uh, type of material any use you want anyway comes with a nice little starter kit handy we've got ourselves a clamp set I guess you have to uh, clamp your board or uh, your material down or whatever it is you're uh, doing has it got some instructions in there 
There you go, the Inventables wood clamp is a, a versatile clamping system that easily adjusts to the height of your workpiece, a very stiff, uh, yet typically will not break your bits if they hit while cut in. Yep, so if you accidentally program the damn thing wrong, or, you're, or it, you didn't clamp it down enough and your material moved or whatever, and that's how to assemble the thing. So if you're cutting this, uh, in, you know, carving out a block of wood like that, then you would use um, that sort of clamping system. Nice. And I got some digital calipers as well. Let's take a look at them. Just your, yeah, standard electronic digital calipers. Yep, no worries, you get those for a dime a dozen these days, but that'll come in handy. Let's take a look at the spindle. And woohoo, padded for our protection. And I don't know much about spindles. <laughs> Of course, I know absolutely jack all about spindles. I'm not into this sort of thing. Um, Dave, too, needs to be here. He's not here today. He's in tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, he'd know all about this stuff. He builds his own uh, uh, milling machines and three, you know, uh, CNC routers and uh, 3D printers and all that sort of jazz. But that looks, uh, that looks pretty robust and funky. There you go. And that's the, uh, that's the clamp for our milling bit. That looks really quite decent I'm liking the liking the feel of that let's that's for sure so yeah that looks feels solid I like it I don't know what if it's their own or whether or not it's uh, no it's some off the shelf thing there you go for those playing along at home actuator actuator brand AEM 81416 anyway 24 volts DCG 156D1 if that means anything to you and this holder looks really jazzy, so that'd uh, you know sit in there, and your spindle would be down in there, and your bit comes out, and uh, Bob's your uncle. And we've got the rest of the wiring that this thing needs. We've got some terminal uh, screw terminal blocks down in there. That's how you'd wire stuff up. And uh, we'll have to see when it all goes together. I'll get um, uh, Dave too, and also I'm going to have a uh, work experience, uh, high school work experience. Uh, person here in a couple of weeks they'll be here for a week so I'll probably get them to work on uh, this and all the uh, pick and place machine so we've got some spanners and these are tools because well yeah these things are like 3d printers I think they need to be massaged hey we've got some eye protection get a set of allen keys and everything I'm not sure if I paid extra for this or whether or not it's uh, all included um, but uh, yeah nice to have a little toolkit with it that you can just mount on the side of the thing and of course uh when you're milling stuff it's probably you know especially pcbs it's going to be really messy you don't want a fiberglass dust going everywhere really you don't want uh, eye protection you want actually a complete uh, perspex covering over the thing so that's what i'll build into uh mine of course and i wouldn't have it here in the lab i'd it'd be way too noisy and everything else so i'd have it down in the bunker but hey that's nice nice pouch hey it's acme me 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 z-axis um lead screw here so and some sort of little uh nylon insert locking nut thingo of course that's to hold your whole thing in and go in your z-axis there you go and we have our extruded uh t-bars or whatever they're called our big extruded bars here i won't bother uh unwrapping those not terribly exciting and here's the dc power supply interface it is like just a bracket here and a bore you add some uh, just whack on some uh, screw terminals in there it's probably those screw terminals we uh, saw before so technically you might have some uh, maybe not exposed uh, main wiring but uh, you know you could certainly get in there and touch it if you probably wanted to but uh, we've got ourselves a uh, what is that is that a regulator or is that looks like a MOSFET oops there's a goose that's the heat sink on this board and there's no solder pad on there so I can just wobble that and have the pin come through oopsie the reason the PC pins there is so that you can solder it down so you get rigidity and it doesn't vibrate loose which is absolutely vital in a product that has a motor and is likely to vibrate oh, well those bloody weird ass Yankee plugs that's no good so we'll toss that and uh, we've got ourselves a power supply. As I said before, everything you can buy, every uh, everything I believe is like optional on this thing. So if you already have a suitable power supply, there's uh, no need to 
order one. So if you just want, you know, the or if you have your own motors and things like that, there's no need to order one. There you go. It's a Wio brand. Never uh, heard of it. It's made in China. It's probably built down to a price, but probably does the business. And here's probably what you want, your core components. So, yeah, maybe you can't just order what's in here separately. Maybe you have to order all your core components. That's a, a gantry slide plate. That looks uh, big and beefy. There's two of those. And, oh, nice. Once again, all padded for our protection. Jeez, that's beautifully, that's, that's a beautiful bit of... Uh, machine in there I really like that that is absolutely gorgeous whatever that does it mounts something fantastic and there's we've got ourselves some belt some pulleys and some that is the uh, maker slide end plate and the z-axis motor plate we've got ourselves some more extrusion there and oh, a bag of goodies look at that they're all individually bagged inside there i won't take them out yet but there's lots of um lots of screws nuts washers all sorts of uh things and uh bearings and all that sort of jazz for uh your slidey bars so fantastic they're your core components and last but not least here's our wooden core bed and they've got nice grid on there i like that i assume that's 10 millimeters i will check if it's not then i'll get back to you but uh yeah that's how um it's already pre drilled so this is our usable work area of course i think it's like a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter working area at least and uh, this is where our extrusions will bolt into presumably and all that sort of stuff and it sits on a, a nice little bed i like it what a winner so thank you very much, Michael, for sending all that stuff in. That's awesome. We'll uh, have to assemble all this in the uh, coming weeks and get it up and running. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too hard at all. Like not like the pick and place machine. This one looks fairly easy to assemble. You know, a couple of hours work uh, tops or something like that. And it's and once again, it's all about the software as well that uh, comes with it. So we'll check that out and we'll do some milling of PCBs and other materials. Awesome. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you soon with this puppy catch you next time